Iamani is the second highest mountain in Bolivia, standing 6,500 metres above sea level, dominating the La Paz city skyline. Iamani is a must for any Bolivian climbing trip. The first recorded ascent was in 1898 by British climber William Conway. However, they did find a rope of indigenous origins above 6,000 metres. It is highly possible that the local Aymara people may have summited earlier. So, we're in the little town of Penaya. Our ambitious plan was a rapid two-day assault, leaving La Paz by taxi at dawn, hoping to make high camp by sunset. We'd summit the following morning and descend 2,600 metres back to Panaya. So, not entirely sure where we're going, but there is Iamani, so we're just going to head off somewhere in that direction. We picked the right trail for all of 20 metres, but then incorrectly follow the creek. It took us two hours to reach base camp at Puento Roto, rather than one and a half. We were surprised to find no one else here. We have the mountain entirely to ourselves. After a 20 minute rest, we started the long 1000 metre climb up towards high camp. Well, left to leaving base camp, we've managed to find a track with blue arrows, it's well trodden and uh, it's going to lead up onto the ridge now that will take us up to high camp at Nido to Condores. The views progressively improved with height. The temperature dropped significantly in the late afternoon and high camp couldn't come soon enough. At each slight crest, we hoped to find a flat spot, but it never seemed to come. Well, not entirely sure if this is Nida the Condor is, but it's good enough for us. It's six o'clock, an hour of daylight left, so we'll set up our tent here. High camp is at Nida de Condores, the condor's nest. It commands a breathtaking position, with sensational views up to the summit, as well as back across to La Paz and the Altiplano. But the best was still to come. Well, we're settled in to our tent now. It's got very cold immediately. We're now starting to melt snow for dinner. And there is La Paz from Nido de Condores. It's incredible. It's cold and windy. We emerge from the tent an hour later than planned at 5 a.m. The route follows a snow ridge at an easy angle, graded at Alpine PD+. It leads up to the south peak, which is the highest of Iamani's five summits. We roped up, just in case of crevasses, and climbed by the lights of our torches, 20 metres apart, with the city lights of La Paz to keep us company. On the ridge, we were fully exposed to the elements, blasted by an icy wind. We ascended 100 vertical metres in the first hour, but only 30 in the second. Our ascent was grinding to a halt and we became very cold. Melissa's body just hadn't acclimatised. Our only option was to descend to the shelter of the tent and I then continued the ascent solo. It's a pretty good track to follow and now that I'm going up solo I'm pretty happy that all the crevasses are quite open and the steepest section it looks like the track might zigzag up. Well I'm on the steep section now and there's some Beautiful steps leading up. <coughs> and continuing. I made quick progress up the ridge, which joins into the west face of the mountain, where the angle steepens to the crux of the ascent with a 55 degree snow slope. My body is well acclimatised and I ascend at more than 300 vertical metres an hour. Well here we am now on top of the summit ridge after negotiating a couple of seracs and uh, this is what remains up to the summit. I'll turn around and show Pico Nord of Iamani. It takes me just under three hours to reach the top. The views from the summit are magnificent, with the whole of Bolivia beneath your feet. I took a few photos and tried to absorb the moment into my being, but was conscious of Melissa alone at high camp, so started my descent after only three minutes on the summit. Iamani is a beautiful mountain and a nice climb. The views from high camp and the summit are magnificent. No climbing trip to Bolivia is complete without Iamani.